So we need to decide if we're going to the Groundbreaker or somewhere else. I don't know where Roseway is or whatever. Or wait, what's this? Nothing. So we have Scylla. We have... I guess I can just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now this one's open. Is this one open? Uh... Alright, let's... Let's take a look. Let's take a look at Monarch real quick. That is Cascadia. That's not what we're looking for. That's just Scylla. So I don't know where Roseway is yet. That's Edgewater. So I guess we'll just go with the Groundbreaker. And... Oh, it tells us where quests are. <laughs> Fair enough, game. Alright, we'll just go with the Groundbreaker then. Let's go, Groundbreaker boys. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Thanks. All right, fellow. Got a sec? What? Oh, hey. What's going on? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? Uh, yeah. Sure. And? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. I, I mean, sh uh, sure, we can go. But uh, I did think you said that you could keep the place in good repair. I remember you saying that. So. I absolutely surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders, and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Where, oh, are you trying to jump ship? Gosh, no, Captain. I aim to stay so long as I'm welcome. I figured June Lay and I could confabulate over wireless or by message. And maybe when we put into Groundbreaker, I could stop by to visit her sometimes. But only when you don't need me with you. Oh, okay, fine. We'll go, we'll go say Thanks, hey. Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh, no, apparently huh? not. You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. Wait, wait, no, no, no. What? What? No, what? No, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, that's a relief. Thanks, Captain, for letting me stick around. I mean, the, no. I. Why does why does the uh, I want you to get out option the top option top option should always be hey yeah let's just let's just go let's 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 leave this conversation and skedaddle. Jeebus! Scared myself half half to deef. All right, let's go to the groundbreaker. Your loading screen tip could be here. Contact Spacer's Choice for your affordable marketing something, something. I can't read fast because I don't want to. And rays are an exotic effect discovered in the early 20th century. And ray attacks cause internal damage to a target, which then radiates more end rays. Ooh, so it's like poison spreading. Poise, poise, spreading stuff. Yep. Yep. Can we load game? Like, for the reels? Could we load? Oh, we're loaded. Hello. Jane Elson. Something tells me you have something to say to me. Jane. Do we have a problem here? Jane. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Thank you. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. 
I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Crap. <laughs> Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. Hey, so it's... From home? That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Yes! I don't have time to work. I need alcohol. Hello, Felix. That's your name now, Felix. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Maybe. It's none of your dang business. Yeah, so I saw that you were arguing with a dude that wants to go get drunk. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolve your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. So you got any plans, friend? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Technically, the previous captain died in a horrible accident. So your ship's got a dark and violent history? This is just too perfect. What? Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Uh, I'm... Splay... Who are you, Felix? Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Felix Mills tone. Gotcha. See ya, Felix. See you around, boss. Wait, why'd you just call me boss? I am not your boss. Shut up. Let's go. Alright, so I'm assuming we have a couple things to do here. We need to go talk to somebody. Wait, so there's nothing in there? Nothing in there. Gotcha. Um, so you've been going to bay 13. I'm just gonna... That's restricted. I'm just gonna climb up here. No. D don't worry about it. I'm just... I'm just climb up here. I'm looking around to see if there's anybody drinking on the job. Oh, gee. I thought I just jumped off the roof. <laughs> that would have been hilarity. Wait, what's going on here? Uh... You having problems there, Pavardi? <laughs> Making funky noises? Ooh, no use of a maglock. <laughs> so we have an advanced defense helmet, toss ball card, ammo, usual stuff. So, I should probably get, give my guys, so, you know, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Some helmets. Did I give you a helmet? I did not give you a helmet. Where did I get this? Well, what? Sure, I'll... Okay, you're, you have helmet head now, and now you have helmet head. Huzzah, you guys have more defense. Be happy. 
Um, I'm gonna remember this is up here, but I don't want to go too far. I'm sure somebody will want to find me. <laughs> We're gonna listen to Pavardi jump. <laughs> Pavardi, can you just teleport down here, please? I'm going. Right here. Where are you? Are you here? Did you get? Did you? You did not get teleported. Are you? Did you, Are you falling down? Are you still up there? Do you need help? No, oh, there you are. Okay, fine. Coming over to you. All right, here we go. Uh, Bavardi, come on. Here we go. We've got Mac, Mac, Mac Red, Gunnar Mac Red. He's done bad things. We're gonna skip that one and that one. <laughs> we don't want to know what our boss has done. Right this way. Hello. I I want in, please. Identification, please. Duh. Here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. What? But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Uh, so I can't leave? Not stuck, per se. You could always throw yourself out the airlock. Of course, then you'd find yourself with an exciting new problem. The uh, ha ha ha. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. Great. I'll go take care of this. You take the starch out of him? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? That, I mean, sure, may as well. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Tell her to quit writing your badonkadonk. Gotcha. Her shipment, by the way? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Oh, okay. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um... Yeah, I'm looking for someone named Gl Glidus. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Why am I gonna... Am I gonna throw up? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. Woot. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Talk to Vera. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Wait, no, I wanted... Oh, yeah, jobs. Need jibs. Need a jib. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Nice. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that means I have to get my stupid thing fixed. Yeah, but what if I'm looking for local? Like, I'm, I want to sit down, you know. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. That's what I was Chief looking Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Duh. Thanks. How about something long-term? 
If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Fair enough. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Ah, I see. So, uh... I guess we can ask about these places or we can just go figure it out ourselves. Let's ask about one. They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. So talk to those people. Gotcha. Are you pulling my leg? I'm new. I just want to hear your take. But I totally know what you're talking about. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Ah. So, how do you guys fit in? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been de-thawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Ah, oh, fair enough. Um, got it. Right I, I don't, uh, I want to keep going, so. All right. They work independently, apparently. Oh my gosh, there's... Uh, uh, Be seeing you. Uh, we'll, we'll keep talking later. I want to actually do stuff and get quests and... Hello? Hello? Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. How about you wait until I tell you what I need before you get an attitude? Thanks. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Fair enough. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Why do you hope I am? Do you have any others? Still waiting to hear back on that bounty for McRed. Out of sight. Not much else. Groundbreaker's keeping calm at the moment. Oh. Oh, well. So what's it like working security? Is it just boring or what? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? Nope. While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? No problem. No problem. <laughs> so then later, over drinks, a wink. Don't make me laugh on duty. Sets a bad example for the rookies. Man, I'm, uh... How did you get in there? <laughs> uh, uh, wait, you're both in there. Uh, they are not with me. Um, they w work for you now. Yes. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Yeah, because I haven't been what around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Um, can you help me get back there? We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, it's not, uh, we just don't. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. Good enough, fair enough. Oh, wow, guess I can't get in, all right. All right. Having bad persuasion and everything. I know where they all are. Um, see you around, guy. Oh, wait. Do you guys... Hey, how was your visit inside that thing? Wait, where is he? There he is. Uh, quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If you are caught inside, you will be shot on sight. 
Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. Fair. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew cha I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. No one lives on Monarch. You're right, okay. You're hearing things. But right now we're going to steal stuff. Stay out of people's way. Said his name was Graham. And steal stuff. Graham. If I can. Can you see me? On a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard Oh wait, how far far how close do I have to be? It takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Graham. I'm not doing anything. Just uh, inspecting the safety of this corner. You can't prove I wasn't. You can't prove I wasn't. Um, take all these. Nothing back here. But we can jump up here, looks like. Oh, that's going to break my leg. Nope, never mind. Can we jump all the way up here? Nope. Never mind. No fun to be had. Hello. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled Power. advertisement for the How are you guys story. doing? Just the not here to steal anything. Just here to, to steal things. I mean not not steal things. Weapons parts. It's a rest and go key card. Do you think? Do you think they're looking? Huh. They were not looking. Fair enough. I don't really need the ammo. What's that? More ammo? Yeah. Ammo's whatever. We're melee boys. And 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 girls and ladies. Melee people. Examine. Halcyon News Media Circus Surround Circus Time Clowns. Uh, da, 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 it's, it's about toss balls and clowns and toss ball stuff. Nothing interesting. Chairman salutes Earth Minister Clark. So the colony and Earth are like button heads a little bit. Then there's a mock apple, which is, sounds like fake apple, which is fake. And there's a uh, mod station. I guess we'll just go in here. Whoa. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. You mean people that I can just kill? Fair enough. Can I kill you? No, I don't want to. What's in here? Nothing. Don't tease me. Purple berry bunch, a soft sour candy shell around a sweet purple berry flavored center. Suck it, chew it, you can do it. I'm not. I'm not even going to comment on that. So there's the rest and go. Then we have Spacer's Choice, The Lost Hope, which was the bar. I think we're going to head. How? Oh, we, the, what is that dude's head? I believe, though, for the moment, we will head. Are you listening to me, Emperor? We will talk to you soon, I think. But let's head to the waste disposal. There's a lot of places to go, people we need to talk to. Like, we need to go here, apparently. But what I want to do... Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? 
guarding stairs for that walking mustache oot on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Huh. That seemed fun. Have you seen this fun. man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. We're gonna go speak to, uh... June Lay, though, in the engineering section next time when we come back, where we will get. Uh, I don't know. Who told that we can, like, help make things cooler? It's like it's supposed to be super hot, I guess. It's getting hot, hot, hot. So we will do that when we come back. Till then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.